And now a lorry driver has appeared in court, charged in connection with the deaths of 39 people found in a refrigerated container at a port in eastern England. Maurice Robinson, who appeared by video link, has been charged with 39 counts of manslaughter and conspiracy to traffic people. He's been rounded in custody to appear at the Central Criminal Court in four weeks. Meanwhile, the families of those feared dead have been holding vigils and ceremonies back in Vietnam. Many are thought to have come from the village of Yen Than, uh, from where Jonathan Head reports. A community overwhelmed by shock and despair. They haven't heard from sons and daughters who were en route to Britain for days, and they all fear the worst. Earlier this year, Le Van Ha left Vietnam to seek his fortune in Europe. Since he left, his wife has given birth to their second child. He was the great hope of this family. The news from Britain has left them stunned. His wife, Ha, can't eat or speak. His father, Le Ming Quan, is inconsolable, constantly hugging his eldest grandchild. He believes he's lost not just his son, but his livelihood as well. He mortgaged all his land to borrow the money he paid for Le Van Ha's journey. The debt he left us is huge, he said. We don't know when we can pay it back. I'm too old now, and my health is poor. It's been a day of prayer here and of neighbours doing what they can to offer comfort. They're used in this part of Vietnam to saying goodbye to their young men and women. Money sent back from abroad is important to the local economy. And here Britain is their preferred destination. Nguyen Dinh Luong had already been living abroad for two years before deciding to take the last risky trip across the channel. His family believes he too was inside the ill-fated container. All I know about England is it's not far from France, said his father, and I heard it was safe going to England, that nothing would happen. Saving and borrowing to send their young folk overseas has become a routine practice in these villages. It's also become a richly profitable business for the traffickers, a pitiless and a dangerous one. Few people here realised as they surely do now, just how dangerous it could be. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Yen Tan, Vietnam.